when it comes to uploading your photos to the internet and especially any sort of social media like Instagram, making sure you've got the right resolution is really important. Otherwise, they'll compress the hell out of your photo, making it look pixelated or even grainy. So getting the right Xbox settings for me is really important. So in today's video, let me share with you my Xbox settings when it comes to Lightroom Classic for uploading your photos to Instagram. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up Lightroom Classic. Now, I have taken this photo here very recently when I have visited Arches National Park in Utah and I want to upload it to Instagram. But obviously, I shot this on a 45 megapixel full frame Canon EOS R5 and I do not want to be uploading a 45 megapixel photo anywhere on the internet. First, it will just take ages, but also Instagram or any social media will compress it, make it look pixelated and all horrible really. So we want to basically create an export setting which is designed to upload to the internet. And we can do that actually within Lightroom Classic. So let's say I'm just gonna be up, uh, basically exporting this one photo. So I'm only gonna be choosing this one. So I'm gonna right click on this photo and I'm gonna drop down to where you can see it says export. Then we're gonna go ahead and select export. So we just wanna export one file in this particular example, but obviously you can select a catalog and basically do the same thing. So we wanna ex basically export it with our chosen area. So I've just chosen my desktop top in this particular example. You can obviously rename it. Now this is the important stuff, is the file settings. I recommend choosing JPEG and then dropping the down the quality to 85. Then you wanna make sure you choose your color space of sRGB. Next is probably the most important part is the, basically the image size. So we're going to go ahead and click resize to fit. We're gonna choose height and width and we don't want them any larger than width of 1,350 by the height of 1,350. Now, the reason these two numbers are the same is so basically if you upload any landscape photo or portrait photo, it won't be any taller than those two largest numbers. So if it's a landscape photo, the width will only be 1,350, but if it's a portrait photo, the height won't be anything larger than 1,350. Then with the resolution, I choose 72 pixels per inch. So select 72 and make sure it's not on pixels per centimeter, it's on pixels per inch. Now, I recommend leaving everything else the same. Uh, you can basically set your own metadata if you like, but once you upload it to Instagram, all of that will be removed anyway. So once you've done all of that, I just recommend simply clicking export. Now this won't take too long at all because I'm only exporting one photo. So if I go back to my desktop, you can see I have got this photo here. And what I can do is if I go ahead and select get info, you can see that it's basically fit the size we want it to. So it's firstly quite small, which is good for uploading it to anything on the internet, won't take a lot of time. But also if we go ahead down to the more info, we can see the size 900 by the maximum height of 1350. And there we go. That's all you're going to need to do if you simply want to upload your photos to Instagram. 